online notary we all might have been through this problem wherein if you're traveling overseas or if you're traveling or you just are unable to get out of your house with everything that's happening around if you know me well you know that i love being super productive and respectful of our clients time please make sure that you subscribe to the channel where i try to bring in as much information as possible on mortgage real estate and life in general now i want to present to you how we actually do this remote online notary i've done one almost a year ago and then i'm having to do one more right now and i was just blown away with the amount of technology improvement gone are the days wherein you have to go to the notary to schedule time and then you have to wait for the notary to show up your house and all that so in this video towards the end i'm going to drop in the actual step by step that we got from our vendor notarize and it shows you how you can do online notary so next time you're traveling overseas don't stress about it if you're going to get do mortgage with us so that you know that we have this remote online notary option also when we are doing the mortgage application also the technology has improved so much if you are working for a big employer we don't even need your pay stubs anymore i know getting a mortgage the biggest pain point for a lot of us is to gather up the paperwork now you don't have to worry about it if it's a big employer you are able to pull your w2s your pay stubs like clockwork same with bank statements bank statements also if you are able to link your bank statement the, for the mortgage purposes when you are doing the application we can do this why am i talking about all this i know technology has improved so much some of the processes that we are able to streamline and save time for our clients is what i am focusing on and this is something that you want to know that you have it in the back of your pocket remote online notary see through the end of the video please make sure that you subscribe to the channel where i try to bring in as much information as possible on mortgage real estate and life in general hi i'm david from the notarize mortgage team and today we're going to show you a fully digital closing on notarize i'll be playing myself uh, for the signer here david burner and i will show you a closing on notarize uh, where every single document is electronic and we'll communicate with a remote notary who's going to walk us through the notarization process and closing process on my screen here you'll see a transaction all of our transactions on notarize start with an email to the signer uh, i've been approached by my title agent netta here uh, who initiated the transaction and you'll see I have documents that I need to review and sign before the end of today, April 10th. We also support an activation feature. If your documents are ready in advance of the closing date, they can be sent out to your signer in a review only format and that way they can review the documents at their own time on their own pace and get their questions answered by the right people before settlement. As I scroll down the email here, you'll see some information from Notarize for me as the consumer to let me know what to expect when I close on the platform here. I'll have the opportunity to review every single document in my closing package. I'll also be able to connect with my team if I have questions for my loan officer or title agent. Below that, you'll see contact information for both Notarize's support team, which is available 24 hours via phone, chat, or email, and also my loan officer's information. Access here by clicking review and sign. And then I'm taken into a landing page here where we have a video going showing the consumers what to expect on the Notarize platform. Below that, you'll see three panels here that show I have a closing online today, April 10th. I'll have the opportunity to actually review and sign one of my documents. So I'll go ahead and click uh, get started here to move to the document review portion. Uh, of our product here. I'll have a panel pop up here that welcomes me to the platform and states that I have to close with the notary here before the end of today, 11.59 p.m. If there was a co-signer on my mortgage here, their information would appear here as well. When I click next, you'll see that I've got three documents in my total closing package here, one that I'll have the opportunity to sign ahead in the session here before I join the notary, and two that I will sign in the meeting with my notary. When I click start signing, I can begin the document review portion of the process just to orient you with a couple things that you're seeing here on the screen in the top left hand corner you'll see we have a call out to our support team if they have questions for notarize and also a chat feature that goes to us as well here in the bottom right hand corner i'll also have the opportunity to review all of the documents in my closing package and i can jump from page to page so let's say i had a question here about my virginia deed of trust i'll disregard this for now and come back and sign that later 
But let's also say I had a question about the bottom of page three. I can jump directly to page three of my deed of trust. And you can also see here that that's where my initial tag will be placed when I sign that deed of trust. But try as I might, I can't actually execute it before I'm in the meeting with the notary. I'll go back to the e-consent form, which is how all of our signings on Notarize begin. And when I scroll down here, you'll see both a signature flag and a date flag uh, for me as the signer here. When I click the date, it'll automatically apply. And when I click my signature here, you'll see we had a pre-populated uh, signature aesthetic here for us. Uh, but below that, in order to actually create a signature on the Notarize platform, I have to agree to this legal language here that says, in short, that my electronic signature on Notarize will be just as binding as my pen and ink signature. So I'll go ahead and hit Agree and Create. Once I hit Complete, our system will do a technology check. So it's very quickly checked to make sure my camera and audio are working uh, on my device that I'm using to sign. And as you see the bar fill up here, it's actually testing my internet connection. When that turns green, that certifies that we have a strong enough connection for a remote uh, online closing here. So you'll see uh, my next step here is to verify my identity here on Notarize. And as you can see here, right uh, in, in the panel right here, we only use the last four digits of the social security number to confirm the identity for the next portion, uh, which is knowledge-based authentication questions. So when I hit get started, I have two minutes as the signer to complete these questions. I need to get four out of five of these questions correct in order to move on to the next part of the identity verification. These questions are generated using databases like LexisNexis based on the borrower's unique experiences. So my next step here as the as the signer is to actually capture an image of my credential, which will do credential analysis on this particular ID. Now, you'll see we support a couple different types of identity uh, documents here, a driver's license, passport, uh, permanent resident. We also support uh, military IDs as well. Notarize also supports secondary IDs as well. So if two IDs were required uh, for this transaction, we'd be able to do that. I'm going to keep it simple here uh, and just keep one. So I'll select a driver's license, but I'm actually going to use my business card today. How you doing? Good to see you. So I'm going to actually hold up that business card here for you and capture an image of that. And so we'll also require that the back of the driver's license is captured uh, in our environment here when we're doing the credential analysis. So in the background, what our software is doing is forensic analysis on this credential. What we're doing is checking for things like micro dots. We're checking the font of the actual ID. We're making sure using technology that this is a real legitimate ID. In a live production environment, if I do not pass this credential analysis step, I would be unable to proceed to the next step. So when I hit confirm and continue, uh, I'll be prompted that my next step here is to join a live video call here uh, with the notary. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Let's Get Started button. So you'll see me here on the screen again. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Good. Thanks, David. How are you? Doing well, doing well. So before I turn it over to Ryan, I just want to orient you with what you're seeing here on the screen. So in the top left-hand corner, of course, you can see myself as the signer and also Ryan as my notary. I can see all of Ryan's notarial information, including the state that he is a commissioned notary in, as well as his ID number. Below that, you'll see my own uh, name here. Uh, and then also the fact that we've already completed one of the three documents uh, in this closing package here. Um, and also here at the top right hand corner, you'll see that I've got two of 10 actions completed here. One of the best parts about the Notarize platform is that it eliminates missed signatures. We're not able to finish this session until that we've actually completed all of those signatures. And uh, welcome everyone to Notarize. So normally uh, the meeting would start uh, with hello, uh, obviously Mr. Burner in this case, and, and welcome to Notarize. My name is Ryan McGinnis and I'm a commissioned electronic notary in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, I'm required to inform you, David, that our audio and video session will be recorded. Sound good? Yep. The signer ID, if there are multiple signers, multiple IDs, make sure they are, in fact, who they say they are, we would get all of the information back on uh, the passing the knowledge-based authentication and how well uh, the ID came back, that it is a le legit ID. Uh, and then so we'll answer, we'll ask three questions that need to be answered on the record. So, David, are you participating in today's notarization freely and without coercion? I am. Do you consent to engaging in an electronic transaction today and using your electronic signature as your binding signature on these documents? I do. And if any time during the process you don't understand the contents of the document you're about to sign, just let me know so that we can contact the lender or the title agency for clarification. Does that just immediately here, it looks like it says my interest rate on the screen is 3.875, but I thought it was 4%. Are, are you as the notary able to answer that question for me? I'm not actually able to answer any questions related to the documents that are being signed today, but uh, you can contact uh, whomever you'd like, in this case, a loan officer, and they might be able to help you. 
Okay, great. So let me use the Notarize Connect feature. And uh, as you can see, my loan officer's information is already filled here. So I'll click this button and she'll join us via audio. Hi there, this is Courtney. Hey, Courtney, this is David Berner here. I had a quick question about my interest rate for you. I'm actually signing my uh, closing disclosure right now. I thought my interest rate was 4%, but it looks like it says 3.875%. Is that correct? 3.875 is correct. Okay, great. Thank you so much. No problem. Hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks. Okay, Ryan, I'm comfortable. We can go ahead and proceed. Okay, great. Uh, so the notary has full control of the document. I can guide and uh, take the signer down to where they need to sign, and I will apply a pointer here for David uh, so that he knows where he needs to sign. Okay, and just like when we did the sign ahead function on that e consent, I need to create a signature here. So doing that from scratch, I have two options. I can either do a text based signature or I can write my handwritten signature on a piece of paper and hold it up uh, to the webcam. And I only need to do that once uh, during the process here. And I'll also apply the date next to that. Okay, wonderful. And so we're going to go ahead and lock this document. The reason why we do this is so for whatever reason, um, we you know, get disconnected or if something happens on David's end, uh, we can pick right back up to where we need to be to finish the meeting. So we'll go ahead and we'll head over to the next document. It looks like it is a deep trust. And just like before, I will go ahead and add the pointer here for David to initial in this first section. Perfect. And I think this is a great document to show off our batch signing feature because this Virginia deed of trust requires an initial at the bottom of every single page. You'll see the banner across the top of the screen here. When I hit acknowledge and sign, I'm prompted in the same fashion that I was to actually create initials, just like I did here with my signature. I'll do text-based and then agree. And you'll see here, right when I hit create and apply, uh, the action counter is going to move all the way up to 10 of 10 actions completed there. And as I scroll down to the bottom of the document, we'll do the most exciting part of any demo here, right, Ryan? So I'll go ahead and I will apply uh, my notary seal. So after applying my seal, I'm going ahead right here and I will apply uh, my signature. So afterwards, I will lock this uh, document and I will complete the meeting and the meeting will end with David. Uh, thanks so much for using Notarize and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, Ryan. I'm able to d download all of the documents in my closing package immediately. All